grab your spoon and listen. It's hunger grabbing your attention. Well, a rice tastes nice and creamy with fruit that's light and dreamy. Rice, rice, baby. Oh, it's mola. Rice, rice, baby. Word to your mola. Mmm, tasty. Hello, good morning New York. We are with Almudena, a missionary who has left her job as a teacher as well as her friends and family. And is going to help people who are in need. Almudena, how do you feel? What was your motivation to go abroad? First, I was scared because I have never faced anything similar. The moment I'm happy because children give me the best present I can receive. Maybe they are poor. But they have enormous care to offer lots of love. And for this reason, I consider I have all that anyone can desire. I imagine that it was a difficult decision for you. Have you received any support from your family and friends? Oh yes, my parents were a little bit afraid. But later, they understood that it was what I liked. And it was really what I wanted. Your support has given me a lot of strength to continue helping in this underdeveloped country. What difficulties have you found in your experience? It is very difficult to describe what I feel. There is an appreciated satisfaction that seeing a child with a big smile in these poor conditions. Also, you need the capacity to learn and listen to everything you are teaching. So I invite everybody uh, to enjoy the world and become a missionary at one time in their lives. Because the smiles you cause in them can make you feel happy and it seems like your heart is bigger each time. Let's see some pictures of your experience. <laughs> Do you want to give any advice to someone who is thinking about starting an adventure life in Europe? I think that the worst part is how we are living. We don't appreciate what we have when we live with our parents. And sometimes we disregard the food that our mothers cook. So over there, it seems considered really important. And of course, I want to mention about the bad situation of the food, poor hygiene, and lack of teaching resources, as well as the lack of medicine. Thank you for sharing your experience with us, Almudena. Give me a big hug. You are welcome. We have the pleasure of being with George, a doctor who traveled to South America Hello, Cristina. How are you? I'm fine. Do you want a coffee? Oh, yes, of course. Okay, come on. I just come from the gym and I'm really tired. Do you want to go to the Yes. The news, okay? Okay. Can you change the channel, please? I'm so bored. 
What do you want to watch? Do you prefer bad news or, or trash programs? Aren't you bored about the same things? I don't know. Something more interesting. Africa is far away from us. We don't care about what happens there. We are also like them. Everyone is entitled to have a life in the best conditions, and especially in education and in health. Well, my life is nice, and I don't care. I have food, I have studies, and I have what I want. I don't understand how you can think that way. They are people. If you are in, in their situation, uh, would you not like any help? It's true. You are right. I think it's good there are people who help others. You should, you should start doing it. Try it. You feel fantastic. Maybe. Dying. And it's time to let our hand to life.